What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lama C here, and have you ever wanted to be an assassin, a druid, and a sorceress, but all at the same time? You're like, I don't know which character to play. Well, now you don't have to choose anymore. I welcome you to Mr. Lama SC's Stupid Riftsin. This is a very fun build. I guess you're also a barbarian because you get to shout a little bit. This is a very fun build, and it's a, a little bit of Llama's take on the standard Riftsin, which already kind of exists out there. So for those that don't know what the Riftsin is, it is a Kixin that utilizes the rune word Rift, uh, which has frozen orbs and tornadoes on strike. And that's really the main piece of it right there. You get to kick out some frozen orbs. It's a little fun thing. You wear your cute night wings as well to increase the cold damage, and you have a little bit of fun. Now, um, the reason that I was so interested interested to make this build is because of the attack speed brokenness that we talked about before, which if you remember me telling you guys, uh, it was that attack speed Frames are kind of uncapped on the high end for the EIAS, the effective IAS. And so it's allowing us to push into frames that have never been explored before. So for instance, on the kicks in, the fastest you could go was three, 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 you know, whatever, three, and then like seven for each frame for every kick. So for every kick, you'd have three frames, and then your last kick would be seven frames. Um, and here you can actually go to two 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 four uh that is with broken hacked items um but realistically you can get yourself to about two 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 six or five uh which is kind of insane and kind of ridiculous so you kick very fast like machine gun and so i thought hey you know it would be fun kicking fast is kicking a lot of frozen orbs fast and tornadoes fast and then I thought, you know what else would be fun is kicking even more things, even more fast. And so thus, this build was kind of built out of that uh, general idea of let's kick more stuff fast, do it. And the fun part about this build is it's actually worked out to be insanely strong um, and really fun. Is it the fastest build I've ever made? No. Uh, is it one of the most fun builds I've ever made? Yeah, and that's what we like to do while we're playing games, is have fun. So let me go over a few of the pieces of the build and where we're kind of at with it. The first piece, obviously, is Rift for the weapon right here, for those cast. And then I have my Night Wings with a 15 all res, and I just put a 15 all res, uh, uh, 15 attack speed, 10 fire res jewel in it, because that was just what I had lying around. Normally I'd put like a higher res jewel or whatever, 15, 15 or something, but I was just messing around to start. And this is because we need to hit 55% increased attack speed while maintaining 21 to burst of speed to get into the 22222 frame kicks. So in addition to that, we have the High Lords, and I have been debating using a Cat's Eye here actually, because Deadly Strike doesn't apply to the kicks, and then I would get the 30 Fast Roanoke, which would be very nice. Um, I have a Phoenix Shield over here. This gives us, uh, and I'm actually going to lower my game in a little bit. I love this screen that I have, but it's not great for showing off all the stuff. Um, so I have a Phoenix, and this gives us a couple things. Number one, this gives me that 40% chance to cast level 22 Firestorm on Striking, which just adds to the kind of fun. Uh, but additionally, we get the Redemption Aura, which is really, really nice and something that I'm really liking on this build. Because I just needed some sort of way to sustain with the build. And I was trying to put like a BK ring on for a little bit of that life leech. And yeah, you can try and run, you know, some other ways to get the life leech here and there. But it just didn't feel like it was quite working very great. The standard way is that you run Drax. But because we need the 55% IAS, I'm running some... 220 gloves that I have over here and so I need 20% IAS so I can't have the Drax and then I would need IAS somewhere else so I could put it in an armor and try and do something with that and there's ways you can finagle the build around and have some fun but this is kind of where we're at 
So we have these nice gloves right here, which give us a little bit of that crushing blow and life and light res and obviously the Marshall and IES, which is great. Um, we have a Fortitude on right now, uh, which is just for the massive ED and the resistances, which is super nice. So I do like this. It add, helps add to the physical piece of the damage. Um, but I also don't mind taking it off and switching it out with something else that I'll show you guys here in a second, which is just for the extra fun of it. Uh, we have a Carrion Wind because this has the chance to proc Twisters because, like we said, this is a proc build just to have some fun. Um, Aract and Mesh for the plus one skills, uh, which is really just the main reason that we have this belt. And then we've got our Raven Frost, of course, for Cannot Be Frozen because that is just needed. And our upgraded Gore Riders because we are a Kixin and you want to kick strong. For all of our charms, uh, they're martial arts GCs. I do have some res GCs in here because my character is suffering on resistances. Who would have thunk it? You have like a phoenix and stuff. Um, and yeah, so there's not a lot of like big resistance items on this character. So I do have some of these traded out for just some random res stuff to help out. And uh, I might do a little bit more trading here and there with it. In terms of the build overall, here is our strength, dexterity. We really just went for enough for the gear. I'm slightly over there because I've been shifting my gear around. Um, and then rest into vitality, of course. And for the skills, uh, we have maxed out Venom, one point into Cloak, Mind Blast, um, you know, all, all those. 21 burst of speed because remember, we need to hit that. Maxed out Dragon Talon, one point in Dragon Flight um, for the uh, teleport on it. And you can see right now I'm at seven kicks. So I was originally at 42 skill points, which was eight kicks because I wanted to kick a little bit more. And that kicked more Frozen Orbs out. But uh, I had to lose. I couldn't have all the extra fun pieces. So... I decided, you know what, I'll go for the seven kicks and then we can have a lot more fun with stuff. And then we maxed out uh, Death Sentry, which I don't even really use because I just like kicking with this build. I don't, I don't really care about the traps piece, even though traps are like a lot of nice damage and stuff. So I have 11 skill points remaining, probably dump it into Light Sentry or something eventually, but, you know, we'll get there as well. Blade Shield does have, have the opportunity to do orbs as well. Um, yes. And so I've considered having the blade shield for also some more proccing. That is a debate that's going on in my head right now, which is why I haven't spent these points. Anyways, uh, that is the main kind of setup for this build. And then CTA Spirit, obviously. Um, and then for the Mercenary, Infinity, Fortitude. And I just have a Crown of Thieves on him right now. But Andy's would be like the helmet of choice. Simple as that. Um, other options that I've kind of considered and thrown around and used here and there. Hellmouth to get the chance for Firestorm and Meteor. It is very low. But again, anytime uh, that you have something that you can proc, you know, it's kind of like add up all the little percentages and things proc more. We've got, uh, I've got some 320 somewhere. I have this principle, which I was loving. It's a very stupid item. We just wasted a goal rune purely for the sake of doing that. Shout out to chat for helping me waste that goal rune. Um, we've got a 45 IS Grizz plate just so we can put this on and not lose our breakpoints. And yeah, there's, there's some stuff we've been experimenting with this build. But enough of me just telling you about it. Mr. Lema, why don't you show us how she blows? And so we shall. And honestly, like I said, this might be one of the most fun builds because you just get to do a little bit of everything. i put my Venom on as well. You just get to do a little bit of all of it, which is great. All right, let's teleport so our mercenary comes with us. There he is. I was like, where's my mercenary at? You just get to do a little bit of all of it. Is nobody going to let me teleport over to there? It's annoying. And so, like I said, do you want to be, you know, oh, got a hit. <laughs> do you want to uh, fight, you know, just like 
Any monster? Cool, you can, you're fine. Cold immune? All right, that's great. Fire immune? That's cool. Physical immune? Yeah, that works out as well. It doesn't really matter what the monster is, what the immunity is at all. Um, your character just kind of blows through and kills a lot of stuff. And thanks to this phoenix, it's actually very uh, helpful in terms of just keeping the survivability. You get to have a lot of silly spam as everything just kind of spams out all over the place. Ooh, that lower res in the Chaos Sanctuary. That change is so deadly, man. And you just move around, and it's really great. It's a little bit of, you know, Path of Exile thrown into Diablo 2, maybe. And you can really see how broken the speed is. If I bring it over here, just watch the character kicking on her new her new frames. <laughs> very, very busted. <laughs> very busted frames right there. Just kind of freaking out, desyncing. So this is now her hitting, like I said, on the two frames instead of on every three frame. Um, and it's a little, little gross. So here it looks a lot smoother. Uh, but it, I assure you, it is broken. Let's all get out. And still hitting on those faster frames. And like I say, it just doesn't really matter. And the thing that's really great about this build and this character overall is that not only is she able to kind of dissect any monster, right? There's no monster that you go, oh, well, that's immune to this or that's, you know, good against this. There's no monster that you really fear in that regard besides your standard monsters that just deal a lot of damage and scare you. Um, but additionally, her single target is actually pretty insane. And, and kind of makes this build, like, this is me clearing out, you know, large areas, which are going to have some problems, you know. It's going to be a little difficult for some characters to AoE, but she seems to do a fine job of it. But where she really shines is when you get to bosses and stuff. So you can totally do Ubers with this build. Would it re require maybe a slight adjustment? Yeah, probably. I would probably make a, a small adjustment. But, like, here's Diablo. And there goes Diablo. I mean, the speed of it. And I haven't even used my death sentry yet. Exactly. Like I said, I don't even use death sentry. The speed of it is is just gross on that. So you can totally do ubers and declone and all of that stuff. You can see my resistance is right here. Um, you actually have additional max res thanks to like running this phoenix and stuff. Plus to the max uh, lightning and fire res and stuff. Additionally, you've got Sorb on as well. Cold Absorb, Fire Absorb. So you throw a T-Gods on this character. And, I mean, like I say, you can just throw on your Drax. Maybe find your IAS somewhere else if you can. Like, switch out your armor. Because I didn't even show you guys one of my favorite spots about it. Which is... You think, oh, now this build's gonna suck because you lost your fortitude. But it doesn't. It's just amazing, and it's still so good, and now we have a 100% chance to proc Holy Bolts, which just, like I say, it's just one of those builds that you can just add to the stupidity of the build, and it just gets more fun. That's the thing about it. The stupider this build gets, the more fun it gets. I don't care that the Holy Bolts don't do anything. I just like kicking out eight Holy Bolts in rapid succession. If you put the Hellmouse on, you can get the Meteors dropping down as well. And I mean, you know, that's all we're really looking for, like I said, in this game, is to have a little fun. And physical immunes die, and cold immunes, and fire immunes, and light immunes, and everything just dies and gets stunned. And you get to play all the characters at once. And just <laughs> create. It, you're an eight man run by yourself, uh, is the best way to put it. <laughs> you are just an eight man run by yourself. 
And there's nothing better than than being that. <laughs> Use the holy bolt to heal the mercenary. There you go. So, I I just love it. I think you guys will too. And I'm working right now on getting a dragon as well, so we can have holy fire, a dragon armor. So we can have holy fire in the armor, which gives extra fire damage. And then since we have the minus enemy fire resistance from the Phoenix, it helps that out as well. Um, and it gives us a chance to proc Hydras, which is the real reason that we're doing it. Because, hey, how fun would it be wherever, everywhere we go, we kick and proc a bunch of Hydras as well. Uh, just to be even stupider. So... Work in progress. That's the next step. I uh, just need to get Sir and Low. So, is it an expensive build? I mean, Burr, Burr, Ismail, Low, Gull, Low, if you're making your Fortitude, Nightwings, Vex, Vex, Low, Jaw, you know. I, I, you know, Sir Low for the Dragon, maybe, right? Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. But, can you really put a price on fun? That's the real question right there. So, anyways, I can play this build for days. I'm going to play this build for days on twitch.tv slash MrLamaSC. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace, YouTube.